if player of the year was a global award, and when we talk about Brooks Kepka being player of the year, we're talking about the PGA Tour hardware that's handed out. But I think we'd all agree on a global stage, he's still player of the year winning two majors Absolutely. this year. But let's say that the voting was for a global stage on what you've done all over the world. I still think Brooks Kepka is the player of the year, but I think it is way tighter than it was under the initial criteria. And here's why. Francesco Molinari, Open champion. Quick and Loans champion on the PGA Tour. On the European Tour, BMW champion. That is their players' championship, guys. So it is the equivalent of him winning the Open championship and the players compared to Kepka's two majors. 5-0 and in the Ryder Cup. Vaulting himself well into the top 10 in the world. I think if you were looking at his season... Globally, a snapshot compared to Kepka's season, man, you can make a really good argument that it's a lot closer than it appears. 100% agree. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's not even, you know, as the player of the year, he, in, in some degree, at least in my mind, he's almost like the breakout player of the year because, you know, for years he was this, he was a great player, but he could never, you know, take that next step and be a star. And, and he really took that step this year. And uh, Molinari and Kepka really maybe separated themselves away from the, the pack in that sense. And I think we're just seeing the start of what Molinari is going to give us. I think he's going to be a really interesting player to watch next year. One of the, he's, he's probably one of my most intriguing guys to watch next year to see if he can continue on this role of, of confidence that he's certainly built up. And the interesting part about, again, about, about his wins is they all kind of came on different courses. 